All right, guys. Custom Deluxe. Tires holding there, ish. Yeah, we have a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Um, how much did you get for that thing? You're missing some trim. That's okay. Get your money back. It's gonna be a short box one day, anyways. Get your money back. It's not bad. She's a little mossy, but the old ignition sticks is in it, huh? Smells like a square body in here. Does it? Well, it's a square body, so it's pretty darn straight, though. Oh, we're missing a trim piece and a badge over here, too. Missing all sorts of trim. I money back. Yeah, I need some money back. Pop that. All right, guys, so here's the reason we bought it. Well, one, it's a square body, but two, she... Why is my camera so daggone? Well, she... She got a little warm. A little crispy. I don't, why does he think that was a fuel? In here, but... Anyways, uh, let's take a look in the interior and see see what we're working with here. Yeah, I mean, she gets a, uh, you know, not bad. Not even rusty up there. It's the door jam over there. It's got a little rust in it. Yeah. yeah it's, it's old Mouseketeers have been in here. She's pretty darn clean. What's it say? 39871. You bring some Clorox? I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I mean, that might be original. I don't know. I doubt it. That's true. If you mow it and it looks good, I call it grass. Yeah. I hadn't mowed, mowed this. It's the custom that's in there. I mowed a little bit of it, but I don't remember much of it. That's why a couple weeks ago, Tom said, oh, yeah, I'm going to move that square body. It's going to be my bull guard. I said, no, don't do that. <laughs> It's a square body. Yeah, doors are seven times to get glass. There's no way we're gonna have AC. Why not? <laughs> I just don't feel too good. I bet I bet it works. I bet it does too. It might not be charged back. Yeah, you ain't got you have to be square body mirror to put on it. CJ said the one who bought it, they said that it it was running until it was on fire until they hit the husband or something died and quit working with it or something. I mean, I'm not going to say that it only has 40,000 miles on it, but that's what the yeah. odometer says. Yeah, boy, it's a little over. It's, it's like internet, man. They can't be on there if that ain't true. Well, no, the reason I say that, look at the brake pedal. No, no, no. There ain't a. I agree. Lick a. That's all, all awful. That's all AC wire. I put a, I put a set of valve covers on it. Maybe a. Well, you have an intake laying around. Well, see, if that car reward, probably that car better on there. We just gotta figure out why it's on fire. Well, just, just so we can see what the issue is. So whether it was fuel fire or that's a vacuum on that was going to here. Yeah, which well, this is for apparently this does something with the electronic spark. All you have to do is cross through these wires. No. But see the spark plug wires, they were really stuck. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what, it, when it, it wasn't on fire long, that's for sure, because it didn't even bubble. Well, it's got a little spot out there. Does it? Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. That's our only option now. Get we got to get this running. thing running and driving. That's right. Mama ain't going to come back and get us. You hear that, Bo? She'll come back and get you. She'll leave me. Yeah. Yeah, she would. <laughs> yeah. Did I hit the button, didn't I? Oh, I didn't know your phone was up there. 
We're kind of getting carried away without filming, huh? Without what? I mean, this thing's got the jack in it and everything still. Look at that. Yes, indeed. I wouldn't doubt it if this thing only has 40,000 miles on it. That's what I'm saying. The brake pedal doesn't have a yeah. lick of rubber scuffed off of it. I'm thinking it. I mean, here's the thing. She's mossy as all get out. Oh, but it looks like I'm good. telling you, we're stopping yeah. by. Yeah. And we're going to do a crazy wash. All right, so. Okay, so we're trying to figure out where this thing caught on fire. It's obvious. I mean, obviously, it got hot up here. So this little deal up here is apparently a... It runs vacuum into the electronic spark control thing. This has got all that fancy junk on it. I don't even know what it's supposed to do or how it's supposed to work. But we're going to delete on all that. So right now, we're just going to go through. We're ripping vacuum lines off. And this has got more vacuum what lines. Is this <laughs> and this goes to this vacuum port. Oh, it's a freaking evap something. What is well, this vacuum line going? Yeah, it's all that goes down to. So we're gonna don't don't tear it though, because we still I don't have caps and stuff to block the ports. All I got is well, electrical tape. We got screws. Like, yeah. I'm not sure we can come up. So with right now I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Nice I got the dots. Say we didn't need them. Um, all that can all just go away. All these lines can just get cut. Okay. Cut away. PCV now. Oh man, I just broke it. Broke what? PCV now. Cut, cut your piece off. So I wanted to come get it so long ago, but I was trying to get another truck done and I still didn't even work on that one because then I got balls deep in another one. This so, truck's too good. Yeah. Good truck. Bro. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you. Four wheel drive. I, mean, four -wheel drive. I got just a four wheel drive truck you need to buy. Yeah, it'll be a good truck. I'll finish you. it all and you can buy it for 30 grand. What? It's a 71 short wheelbase four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too old for you. You look good in that thing. Too old. Yeah. Well, is this as old as you can go? It ain't got a warranty. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> look, my days of tinkering and having been doing stuff like that are over. Oh. It's like you that see, that, here's the thing. You don't need a warranty on one of them things because when them break, Just bring you, back know, what, you know what's broken. Ever Signs of life. They're gonna bust right off. I wouldn't worry about taking all this stuff off right now. You just gonna sit there running. Well, yeah, no, but I mean, we're gonna have to plug all this stuff anyway. That's fine. I would just cut this one off right here and we'll well, shove a bolt in it. I was trying to save the most I could because, uh, you know it's like five dollars a foot for this hose, right? Well, what are we gonna use it for? I'm saying like that long, like save that long piece in case we need to go from here to here. Mm. We can get rid of the T. Not have to go buy a five dollar piece of hose. We got some more of that long hose. I broke the top off that though. Yeah, that's okay. It'll vent. It'll vent now. Yeah. What's running? What? <laughs> the... uh, yeah. Go. What was that that turned on? That oh, blower motor. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that's got spark. That's spark. Yeah, how much fuel's in it? <laughs> when you turn the key, it changes. Yeah, well, yeah. It's an eighth of a tank. Well, that's good. But it, it either flush right between zero and a quarter. 
There's no telling how long that, how old yeah. that fuel is. We'll have to go to the gas station and put a good bit in there. <laughs> Drown out that old. Yeah, it had spark. Wow, ah, we didn't get no carburetor it's spray. Like it had spark? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, here, I'll do it. Watch it. Well, that's all right. I believe it. Well, no, watch it. All right, hold on. Let me, let me get this Mars going. Mars got some carburetor spray or whatever you need. No, hold on. Right now. All right, go. Yeah. Yeah, it's got spark. Yeah. All right, well, we can try a... Uh, that's weird that it has spark. I don't know what that... Electronic spark I don't know, not unless that's uh, something with the advanced and then retarding of it. Which I mean, I don't know. It might, it might still work. I don't know so what that. Need a vacuum. Well, that would be your vacuum advanced. Yeah. Well, I got some fuel. You want me to dump it in there? You don't have to have vacuum advanced to start. Well, I know, but I was just trying. To, I was just looking to find a piece. Let's go, go. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to nail the vent tube on this well, one unless. Just pour just a little bit in there. You want a cup? Nah. Uh, hit, the, hit the throttle. Just pour a little bit in there. And then chokes wide open. Er, it'll, it'll cut off when it starts. Oh. Way too much. Yeah. All right, try it. Get battery. Oh, hold on. I hit it. Oh my god. Immediately. <laughs> oh man. This, this is honestly too easy. What's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, something we're breaking down on the way. Yeah, right? absolutely. I'm gonna see if I can fill the bowls up. Hey, look, when we get when we get there's a Lucas bottle that I got that zinc added it in. Whenever we run out of that stuff, don't throw it away. It's perfect for that. It's got the little yeah. tip on it. I had something the other day that I was like, yeah, I think I remember. You know what too. else is really good for it? They make them little beakers that you can squeeze. Yeah, we have some. Little... We have some at work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of people use for acetone. For what? Oh, acetone. acetone? Yeah. Uh, Let's see oh, that can... concrete dust got me messed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you like that? I hope this project bride will. Why the bog works? Is that the vent? <laughs> yeah. You ready? I'm pretty sure that's the vent. If it ain't, this thing's about to go haywire. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, I hit it. Got me hooked up. Oh, hold on. All right, come on. You ready? No. All right, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Hit it. Yeah, hit it. Nothing? Hold on. I hit it. Wasp, wasp nest and everything <laughs> the killing me dude i don't know where that i don't know where all that crap's coming. probably all sitting down in the bottom of this. Whew, just felt me in the face well she runs dude it runs that's promising but it ain't gonna run with all the vacuum leaks there's a massive vacuum no, leaks there no. we need to find something to shove in there well all right let's uh let's do this obviously it's gonna run i thought we were gonna have to rewire the yeah distributor but apparently we didn't what is this one? What's this one? I was going to say we might be able to run it off to tee it off of the yeah, that's fine. modulator for the transmission. Right. Should be a port on the back here. Here. Right. Sit right there on the battery. You going to work on it too, buddy? Okay, this one's going to be important. You need some vacuum oil? Now, yeah, some of that small vacuum oil. And How long will you need? And a small, uh, you can give me a, 
pair of pliers and a screwdriver. Flat, right. screw, flat screwdriver. And a screwdriver. You want to use a screwdriver too? Yeah. Flat screwdriver. Screwdriver. That's the daddy. Here. You want to use it? Here. I'll give that screwdriver? I'll give him one. Be careful, don't be hammering on everything there. Oh my. <laughs> You're gassy, dude. I, can't help it. I guess I maybe I can loop that one back to this one. Yeah, can you do that with vacuum on? I never thought about it. I don't know why you couldn't. It's not gonna be able to suck vacuum because yeah. it's trying to suck vacuum there. Golly, buddy, that stinks. Floated right on over here towards me. My bad. Yeah, you're bad. <laughs> All right, not my bad. <laughs> you know, it was. I don't care what you said. <laughs> I, I, tried to be, I tried to be nice. Where'd that vacuum line go? I, just I don't know. I gassed you out. <laughs> Where are we here? And if we have some 3 8 line, I could probably... Yeah, we got some other big line back here. Okay. That's a screwdriver. That's a screwdriver. You can hold on to it, though. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. What do you need it for? Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna loop this big one loop if the, I can. Loop the big one on the carburetor valve. Carburetor valve. Carburetor valve. That Crelnasium feral pump. <sighs> okay. I. Alright, try it. What, it just turn off because it... Yeah, I think it ran out. Right. Maybe I'll give it gas, yeah. Might have run out of fuel. Yeah. Oh. He's farting again? Yeah. It might have run out of fuel. Yeah. I don't know how much fuel's in it. I'd hate to dump my whole jug down in there. Yeah. Let's run to the store. Oh, wait. Well, well here, what let's just, let's crack the fuel line here and let's see if it's pulling. Around here. I'll hold this one. Yep. Anything? Oh. It looks like it's spitting moisture out. I wish we had carb spray now because I'd douse okay. some down in there. How hard? Where's the what, fuel pump? Well, I know where the fuel pump's at. I was going to say. Can I say what? I going to say, uh. I mean, it might have to take a, I mean, it might take a while, a while to find out. Well, I mean, you, really well, I mean you don't even really know what's in there. If there's anything in there. Bert, back at you. Yeah, it took a good bit. All right, you ready? I probably could try to drain a 3 s line on there and back feed through the pond. I'll try that out. Let it, let it chill on that for a minute. Put it back up, Bert. to get you. All right. Backfiring like crazy. Oh. All right. Fuel. 
I was just shaking bad. Yeah. What's that? That's cool. Look. Hmm. Dragon Park. Radio was working. It was on. Okay. Yeah. At least it's running now. I mean, it ain't hitting on all, but it's running. Which I don't know. This part, I mean, it's still I mean, is it, on there, but is it jumping through the ground and out on the firewall. But it was running on all a minute ago. I wonder if we found a plug. Well, I wonder if that electronic spark thing. I don't know how it what it does. Well, do you want to Google it and cross the wire real quick? Yeah, okay. I think it's the orange and green wire. Yeah, I don't know what you Googled last time. Okay, yeah. Just, uh, you can just splice it on this side. Just cut that one over there and on the back side of that plug and splice this? No, cut the other one and, and do your green and black together. Uh, yeah. Ouch! Is that hurt? Yeah, my knees. You know what I'm saying? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there any fuel in there? What's this? Not nearly as bad as it was. Next step is for gas. I'm gonna take the fuel line yeah, off. I about to say that's the way we want to do it. I'm gonna take the fuel line off and jam it in here, and then we're gonna see if the pump will actually even pump. If it's not pumping, we got another fuel pump. Which one of those lines is? The uh, well, you're gonna have an evap one, which is probably the middle one. This one, the hard line's obviously up here. I got that 3H fuel line over there. <laughs> yeah, Bless that, you, buddy. Yeah, this one curves back down, goes down the frame there. Can you need me to try to push on it up here? I only had only had one of the. Oh, there you go. Try not to split that line. Can I try to grab it? Yeah, I was trying to spin it. You almost got it. We'll keep pulling it straight out. Okay. This dry as a bone, son. Yeah. All right, you got enough to pump it from up there, or do you want to run it out from down here? And... No, right here. You got nothing? Oh, let me run right here? Yeah, just like. Okay. All right, how much hose you got? Yeah, hand me that can. Uh, well, hold on a second. Uh, here, let me set this up again. Look, uh, you can come out of there. I'm gonna I'm gonna dump some down at first. I'm yeah, gonna man. dump, yeah. I'm gonna dump some down it and have you turn it over. That way it'll get the diaphragm and the pump wet. Okay. Well, we can try. We we'll just try that first. If it, if it won't start sucking right away, we can try that. I just if the diaphragm's soften or if the diaphragm's completely dry. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We should have fuel by now. I mean, you're sucking a little bit and then it's coming back down. Sucking a little bit. It shouldn't lose pressure like that, though. I think we're wasting our time. I think we need to put the other fuel pump on there. At least we know it's good.
ready? Um. Huh? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, try again. How about how about now? Huh? How about now? Well. Hold on. Let me put some down the vent. It's acting like it's pulling and then it sputters. And then it pulls and then it sputters. Okay, try it now. What's the deal now? Four pounds down in the carburetor. Uh, accelerator pump should have worked. They're not getting fired and not spinning over fast enough. This thing, it's just bubbling. So maybe it ain't pulling from the tank. Might not be none in the tank. Mm-hmm. Kids are so bipolar, dude. <laughs> yeah. So is the alternator not charging? I don't know. You got your voltage meter? Well, uh, can we get it running long enough to even I mean, it should pop off more than 12 volts. It should be, you know, 13, 14 volts. I know, you gotta get it run for more than two seconds. All right, let's do this. Let's, let's unhook that fuel line, hook it back up to this, um, see if it'll run long enough to do anything. And then if and it then, is, then, then we'll jam that down the down, tank. Yeah. Hopefully we can get enough Yeah. to get to the yeah. fuel station. Yeah. All right, see if we'll spin over here. Rock in. charging it was barely charging because it was at like 12.2 well, it's pulling fuel yeah so we got one or two options here oh we can set the fuel can in here about to say we can set the fuel can in here and pump fuel from there good one and drive because there's not a gas station far from here was there uh, i don't think so a couple miles and we can put you know a couple gallons in the tank because <laughs> we might have to buy a gas can and run it like that the whole way home Two gallons at a time, or have to stop and get a five gallon tank. Next step, we won't change this alternator. Yeah, which is fine. That's yeah, that's not a big deal at all. So, what time is it? 440, son. 440? We can put a 440 in this thing, dude. Uh, we're going to have this thing going. Oh, now, yeah. Do we put the gas can up here? I say, let's get it running so I can at least hit drive. Um,. Well, here, just do it real quick. Just let's start it back up and see what it does. It, I think it'll run long enough off that battery. I and mean, if it's got. All right, you ready? Train juice does burn. We found that out last night, but it still does today as well. <laughs> this man, this thing's getting. We're getting close, dude. It's only gonna take us an hour and a half to get home. 
Are we taking the back way home or are we taking the... We probably, take... the probably the back way. Yeah. She's smoking some. Somebody had to put it in gear and spit some. Alright, let's see. Let's take this out. What do we got? What do we got for fuel? Uh, about a half tank. This is the closest gas station. Okay. We have to figure out where we can set this with our fuel line that will still reach. One mile away. One mile? Yeah. Oh, we got that. As long as this thing will actually move. I guess it just took a minute for that battery, that alternator to come back alive, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Start it up real quick. Start it up! Well, and let's, let's see if... Uh, oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Yes, you're stuck in a hole. So now we're having to get this little tug out of here. Yeah, I just don't like it. Yeah. Pop that clutch! <laughs> Well guys, the brake locked up on us, caught on fire.
We thought y'all needed some excitement today. How you feeling right now, buddy? Yeah. Fire. Fire. Hey, he got to see a fire truck. So yeah, he's, he's happy. Good. Yeah. He's that, that's what we did it for, right? Yeah, so he can he see a fire truck. We got it off the road. Let's see here. You can see our uh, tire tracks there. <laughs> yeah, both of them's locked up. Yeah. Here's the damage. We got the distributor pretty good. All the plug wires, the hood. Pearl, Fuel. Look at that right there. I can't down. believe it didn't kill that, I dude. Know, I can't believe it didn't blow up that. But see, it's not the first time this truck's caught on fire, though. Well, whatever it was, it needs a painless kit or something. Right? Yeah. Whatever if it you was, just, it done, it didn't look, just don't look at that side over there. And that's a good looking truck. I mean, here's the important part. Here's the important part. Look at that spit shine right there. Look at that. Good luck that paint. Look at the paint on. I mean, don't look at the paint up here. Look no, at the paint. No, look at the right paint. There. Look, let's get real close to it. Look, man. Yeah, go. Root beer brown. Son. Root beer brown. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a gas station down there. We're about to walk down there and get us something to drink. 12 pack. 12 pack. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to y'all in a little while. Yeah. Wish us luck. All right, guys, we're going to use the jack off this truck to try to get these brakes uh, get these brakes up on stuff. Yeah, sorry about, you're probably not going to be able to hear us for squat. This traffic's ridiculous. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> See, that can't, can you see? I don't know if you can quite see, but there's an issue with the distrib. Yeah, see right there. Where? If, I'm if not you, quite let see. Let me it. put the tools down. Hold on. This thing still got some heat up here, dude. If you look really close, right, 
No, it's not there. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find it anymore. There's an issue with it, though. <laughs> Dude, this thing's still filled out, filled out, Malcolm. Yeah, she's still warm, dude. Yeah. Hey, watch got... out, she might cook back up. Look at that. That's a whole issue right there. Man, dude, what's that fuel filter? We're good to go. There's still some gas in there. Might be water. Hey, dude, it still holds liquid. I can still do it. man. Nah, it still holds liquid. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day. Uh, we got home late last night, loading this thing up, bringing it back home. I'm gonna pull it off the trailer, pull it over here on the driveway, wash it up so we can really get a good look at the paint. But I think it's still salv. Well, I know it's still salvageable. Um, the hood did get hot and it bubbled the paint, but it didn't warp the metal. It don't look like so. We should still get by, but it's just a bit more work now. I'm gonna have to try to find a parts truck that I can get the engine wiring harness out of, which isn't the worst thing in the world either because this thing had all the evap and junk for you know whatever emission stuff on it so we'll be able to do away with all that um so all in all it's not going to be the end of the world that it caught on fire plus now we will be able to just eliminate the electrical issue altogether which i don't believe it was actually a fire caused from electrical and we'll dig into that in a minute so let's go ahead and get this thing off the trailer and get it washed up assess all the damage All right, well, we were gonna try to pull it over to the house, but I changed my mind. We're gonna do it right here because I don't have somebody here to help me to pull it over there, and I don't feel like it coasting down the driveway and running into my tractor. So, ah, square body Chevrolet door. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, hook the bucket on the tractor here, run it up here, and scoop all these leaves out so we can see whether the box is completely roached out up in the front. All right, guys, well, we'll clean it up and wash it out, but good news, the corners aren't rotted out of it. Which I'm really happy about and surprised, to be honest with you, because I don't know how long them leaves sit in there, and that's the first thing that ruins a square body or any floor of a pickup, is leaves sitting in there and it not draining the water, and it just roaches them things out. But hey, we got away without that happening this time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you can see the side molding, most of it's gone. We got a piece here and the custom deluxe, that's gone on this side. And well, I take that back. We got the custom deluxe on this side. I'm gonna take the couple pieces off that are down the side. Kind of be able to tell here just how rough a shape these, uh, well, there you go. I got a screwdriver out and I mean, they literally just fallen off of there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them off. Uh, that way I can wash this a little easier and get up from under it. But man, I think the paint is going to come back around immaculate. So, I mean, 
yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this wash down, so. No massive dents in it that I see really anywhere. Um, I'll show you on the passenger side here. There's some uh, evidences that maybe the door has been repainted, um, but I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, just trying to continue to get this moss off here and just keep on working it. It's coming along really nice. Um, there's some spots where it's real heavy that probably an SOS pad would get off, but this is kind of, this will give you a good view at just how this truck will come back around, but there's the pad or the driver's side. I haven't even touched it yet. And, well, you can see the hood. I think that's got a bubble in it. I didn't think it did, but man, look at that passenger side. It cleans up nice. Real happy with how that worked out with just a little soap and water. Uh, didn't get too crazy with it, but all right, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and run down this side now and show you uh, just how good it cleans up. You want to wash? You want to wash? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Rub it on the fender. Grab the grab the ride. Here, rub it on the fender like this. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay, grab the ride. Rub it on the fender. There you go. Doing it? Yeah. Getting it all clean? Yeah.
All right, guys, well, she's all cleaned up. Man alive, does it look good. Um, I didn't get to under the hood yet. I might spray that, but uh, man, what a transformation just a little soap and water does to it. Um, as I was saying before, you can kind of see there's evidence. Well, see on the inside of here on the passenger side, we got, we got some rust. Not bad, a little patch panel, um, maybe just a new rocker because we got a little bit of paint chip down here. Um, but that's not really terrible. We'll just have to dig into it and see exactly what we got. Might just be as simple as a little patch panel here and uh, we'll be good. But the door's got, you know, it's got a little bit right here. It's not bad. The seam sealer's starting to crack. Little evidence of rust starting, but it's not terrible. Um, and then, as I was saying before, see if you look on the outside here, it's got a little fade here. Um, and, doubt Duke. And it's got some evidence of maybe a little bondo stuck inside there but it's not thick and i'm thinking somebody just quickly sprayed it but uh all in all wow just an absolute transformation on just a little bit of soap and water i think the interior looks really good still um not sure what we're gonna do as far as color and everything yet i mean it, not sure if we're gonna repaint the interior i'm thinking still sticking with the same root beer brown it's a sharp old color i mean just look when it's wet it just shines got one little dinger right here but that'll come out real easy all in all the body's pretty straight the hood it's it's probably i'm probably gonna have to get a different hood off a of parts truck it's got just a scotia bubble and it, i think it peeled away from the inside structure um pop the hood here It got, it got it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the motor and tranny out, clean everything up real good, go. So that's gonna probably do it for this video. Um, it might be a week or so before I get to this, but we're gonna cut this up. We're gonna take a long box, cut it into a short box, repaint it. And uh, hey, this is a 40,000 40, original mile truck. So we wanna try to save it and keep it as nice as we can with a uh, majority of the original parts but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys um it's a, that's the risk you take sometimes when you do these revivals um we knew it had previously got caught on fire but we weren't sure why and, i mean it sat there and idled for 20 plus minutes just like a sewing machine and didn't even show any signs of smoke and so what we think happened was when i stabbed on the brakes they locked up and for some reason it puked all the tranny fluid straight out the dipstick and it just caught on fire so we'll have to uh go through figure out what that what the reasoning is with that but that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys liked it um it was pretty eventful so if <laughs> hey if i've ever asked for it before please can you just subscribe to the channel we're trying to get to a thousand so we can get some ads on this channel and maybe make a little revenue so we can continue to do these kind of revivals and uh and it, it, they're just fun we enjoy it but stuff like this happens and now we're we're going to be in this a uh, bit more money than we thought but all right guys well hope you enjoyed the video um stick around for more this truck's gonna be the first one on the chopping block so take care